he's gotten so big. <sighs> Has he asked about me? Not in a while. He has a lot to keep him busy, though. The move, new school, new city, new people. Sure, sure. Yeah. He must have been shocked when you said you were leaving Texas. I sure was when you called yesterday. Shannon. So, tell me about this school. They want to meet you. Well, need to meet you. It's a requirement for admission. It looks fancy. Not the kind of place I thought you'd be into. Classes are smaller. 10 kids instead of 30. I mean, the art studio, you should have seen him. Can I see him? I mean, this is a big step. Switching schools when he just got here, maybe I could talk to him, make sure it's what he wants. I don't think that's a good idea. I, it might confuse him. What's confusing? I'm his mom. Who he hasn't seen in almost two years? My mother was sick. She was, was all alone. I, you know why I had to go. Yeah, but we were expecting you'd come back. And you didn't. You could have come with me. You didn't want to leave Texas. And your parents, and your sisters, and at least not until it was something that was important to you. <sighs> That's not fair. I was trying to do what's best for Christopher. Right, because Eddie always knows what's best for everyone. I mean, God forbid you stop for a second and actually ask them what they need. What did you need that I didn't give you? You! I needed a husband and a co-parent. And instead, all I got was a life alone in Texas with a baby and you on another continent. I needed someone to have my back. I always had your back. No. You were in Afghanistan. 